Hi, my name is John Cordy, and in this video I want to talk to you about why modelling is not dead. Uh, you may have seen last week, I think, HW from Tone Junkie, who I do some demos for on the Kemper stuff, did a video where he was talking about his view on why he thought the future was essentially in profiling and capturing, i.e. Kempers and quad cortexes, and that if Fractal Audio and Line 6 and Head Rush and I guess Boss don't get into the profiling or capturing world, essentially they're going to struggle. And here's why I don't think that's the case. The short answer is it's about elegant solutions. Here's something I've not really seen talked about yet. In the Kemper world, when you buy a profile pack, potentially you'll have anywhere between sort of 10 and 40 sounds. I've just done a demo of a train wreck rocket pack for HW, and within that were 47 studio profiles. So that's just one guy's take on his preferred sounds out of the train wreck rocket with whatever mic selection and whatever speaker selection he makes. I think there may be three or four kind of speaker options that he's put within there. There's about five gain options per option. So now I want you to imagine that you're in the quad cortex world and this is something I've seen that people are excited about, the ability to capture pedals. You know, people are saying, oh, well, aren't we going to see loads of people buying pedals from Sweetwater or Andertons or whatever, capturing them and then returning them. And to that I say basically the answer is no. The reason being there's not just one sound in this pedal. Say you've got your drive knob. Your drive is a parameter that you can change on your pedal. You could separate that into sort of 10 different areas. So you could say I'm going to have it on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 10 and give yourself 10 captures with the, the drive. You could do the same with the tone. And then if you put those in combination, you have 10 times 10, you've instantly got 100 captures of just this one pedal. Now you can do that again with these in combination. And obviously what you get is an exponential amount of variables. So even if you just separate these parameters and do it in multiples of 10, so you can have the drive between one and 10, the tone between one and 10, and the level between one and 10, you're gonna already have taken over the entire capacity of the quad cortex with just your TS-10. Here's another thought. So you've taken your captures of the TS-10 and you've found as many as you think is useful and you've separated things in a way that you think people might wanna be able to use it. So you've got varying levels of drive, you've got varying levels of tone and level. And what you end up with is X amount of captures in your quad cortex and then someone comes along and says, oh, have you got an Ibanez SD9? And now you have to do exactly the same job with the SD9. And you've got to find another way of organising that. And then you've got to put these two pedals together into a list. And what you end up with is presumably a list that is twice the length. I'm going to imagine the same is going to be true of something like an amp. Now, you've got more knobs, you've got more variation. So say your TS-10 is capable of a hundred sounds even, how would be the best way to kind of display that? Would you want that displayed in a list or would it be better to have something, a block which looks something like the actual pedal with a drive knob, a tone knob and a level knob? My argument is that that's the more elegant solution and my argument is that that is why modeling won't be going away anytime soon. As many profiles as you want to make of the TS-10, someone has got to manage those profiles or captures Unless someone comes up with a, a more manageable way to actually organise profiles and captures, there's no way that you're going to end up with a more elegant solution than just modelling the thing. If you're going to want to go into granular detail of profiling the possibilities of something even as simple as a tube screamer, it's going to end up with an unmanageable list. And that for me is, I think, why you're going to see people still continuing to use modelling, even if capturing and profiling is possible. What are you going to do with 20,000 possibilities? How are you going to organize those? I've got too many profiles to even fit on my Kemper. I can fit about, you know, a 20th of what I've actually got on my computer onto the Kemper. It's not particularly manageable. Anyway, am I wrong about that? Thank you for stopping by and I'll catch you in another video soon. If you want to subscribe, you could. If you want any of the tones in this video, I think I was using Helix Native uh, Neural DSP for some of it. So if you want any of that, look in the description, you can get those tones. Thank you for stopping by and I'll catch you in another video soon. Long live modeling.